Okay, today we're going to learn how to test three wire flow sensors. Okay, like on this valent here. Okay, here's the little sensor. These are the cables we need to check. To check this, all we're going to need is a multimeter and some good quality tips. Let's have a look. Black. Red. Okay, let's turn the power onto the boiler and see what we got on back black and red. Okay, got 4.69 volts. Okay, so red is the power and black is the ground, and green is then going to be the signal wire. So if we go on green on static, we should have either zero volts or 4.5 whatever this one's hold on, 4.6 volts, okay, we've got nothing, with the tap running, green wants to be half the voltage of red, okay, so let's see what happens, the tap is running and we have nothing, so there's no signal coming from that to the boiler, so we're going to change the electronic part first, Okay, so we just changed that the electronic part of this. We've got the 4.6 volts on the red. And now we're going to go over to our signal. We've got zero volts on the signal right now. Let's run a tap. Okay, so we've still got zero volts on the signal, so as usual, it's the uh, brass impeller that's failed. Well, the impeller housing, not the uh, sensor. So now I'm going to change that. Okay, so here we are back again. Replace that brass piece. This is the old sensor in there. Just to prove that it's the brass piece, we're on the uh, red and black together. Again, here we go. DC voltage, power back on. 4.6 volts on there. Let's see what we've got on the green. 4.6 on that. Oh, we're running for something right now, probably preheat. Okay, so got nothing on the green now. Let's run a tap and see what happens. Okay, there we go, 2.2 volts. And if I check on the front of the boiler, the boiler now knows that we've uh, got hot water demand on. So remember, on these, you have ground, which is the black, you have positive voltage as in the voltage that's required for the thing to work, which is on this red one here, which is on this 4.6 volts. And the green wire is the sensor wire and requires, uh, at rest, when there's nothing going on, which I'll turn the tap off and see if we can get it to do it now, it will either be, uh, nearly, it'll either be zero volts or the same voltage, roughly the same voltage as the red. Okay, so it's about 4.6 volts at rest. Let's try that again. Tap on. About half the voltage, yeah. We're at 2.2 volts, just under half what the red's got. And then we turn the tap off, see if we can get it to stop at 4 volt. No, it's not going to play ball with us today, but that's how you test these. The positive voltage is constantly there 4.6 volts. The uh, negative is the ground, so that's used like a neutral. Um, and then the sensor wire. And so the way this works is in here, there's an impeller with a magnet on it. As you run the tap, the impeller turns and the magnet goes past the sensor. And all it does is make the red and green wires touch. But it does that fast enough that you get half voltage. You don't get full voltage because for half the time it's not touching. So you get half the voltage. And as you see, it wasn't actually, this is the old sensor cable. The... <coughs> New sensor cable is still in the old valve, okay? So it just proves that it's not often the sensor cable. Now what you can do, because you know this is good, obviously that goes in the scrap bin, uh, this one you keep and it's a quick way to test them if you're unfamiliar with how all this works. Okay, easy way to test if it's the brass or the sensor lead. Okay, thank you very much.